हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन वेलकम बैक टू योर ई वी एस क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वील बी डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर नाइनटीन दैट इज वॉटर अ नैचुरल रिसोर्स वॉटर इज अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट नैचुरल रिसोर्स वॉटर इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडीज ऑफ ऑल लिविंग बीक्स मेनी प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स कैन लिव ओनली इन वॉटर so water is very important water is also very important component of a diet for cooking we need water without water cooking is not possible we also need water for the daily activities like bathing washing the vegetables cleaning the floor and most important drinking you know about 3/4 part of our earth also which is also known as blue planet is covered with water now water is available in rivers ocean lake we have a lot of water but there is scarcity of fresh water because mostly water is found in seas and oceans so we have very less fresh water so we should not waste water now water is also very important for agriculture for growing crops that is used by the farmers for industries factories and for hydro electricity projects that is to generate electricity using water and most important as i have told you before for drinking agriculture needs regular water supply but however since rainfall is not uniform and consistent this creates a lot of problems for our farmers who need water to irrigate their fields so as i told you all you can see in the picture that there is no rainfall so that creates droughts and it creates a lot of problems for our farmers for this reason we have developed irrigation system the main source of water on earth is rain when it rains in the monsoons the water resources like ponds rivers lakes etc fills up with rain water the water thus collected is directed to the fields through channels dug in the ground called canals and is used to water plants and crops so this water can be used for agriculture now you know some amount of water also seeps into the ground and gets stored here you can see the diagram the water cycle so the water is also stored under the ground you can also use this water that is used stored under the ground in the in wells and all so the wells are dug in the fields to use the underground water for irrigation in certain places water is stored in specially built tanks meant to provide water for irrigation sometimes strong and high walls are built across a river to stop the water from flowing these walls hold back the flow of water they have special gates called the sluice gates to control the flow of water water is also stored in the reservoir or artificial lakes thus formed behind the dams the water stored here is and then channelized for irrigating the fields dams are also used to generate hydroelectricity as i told you all hydroelectricity means electricity generated from water thus water is very very important and we should conserve water we should save water it is very precious so it must be used carefully you know when factories dump toxic waste into rivers the water gets polluted or dirty so then the polluted water or dirty water is not fit for use it is unfit for use and very very dangerous to conserve water means to use it carefully so as to avoid the wastage we should see that if we are not if we are not using the taps then it should be closed and there should be no leakage in the pipelines so we should stop wastage of water 
Now we can reuse the water for different purposes thus avoiding its wastage. You can see in the diagram that how we can reuse the water. The water that we have already used once can be recycled and used again. Like the water that you have used to wash the vegetables or fruits can be used to water the plants or can be used to clean the fruits. There are various means how you can reuse the water. So this was all about water. How important water is for us. How precious it is. So we should take for steps to save water to stop water from being wasted i hope you all have understood the chapter students thank you students go through the chapter read the chapter thank you students stay home be safe